Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface Freeform Edition. If we start with an object like this one, as we see it's not really finished at the bottom, and we have created our surface here. I'll press the spacebar just to see it rendered as shapes. We can export this as a IGS or step file format and finish off in other cut packages, but we added some tools that will help you to complete your object here and put it for the purposes of manufacturing. For this reason we added two features which is the plane support and the trimming. This will help you to actually slice and create a proper object which can be used in the other packages. The plane can be created in many different ways. One is you just type in coordinates. If you select create plane, you can manipulate and create different extents. You can create it from another plane or you can create it as a mid plane from other two planes. In this current example, maybe it's the best if I just get it roughly here. So for this reason, I will just use our mesh selection tool. I just select the mesh selection. Now I can just select the point through which the plane will be fit. For this reason I'll uh, choose my select by drawing a line. And because I want to get the point from the other side, I will make sure that I select the option select through. Now I can just hold with the left mouse button and draw where my line should be. As you can see it selected points and then I can press OK. Now I can select my option for creating a plane. Because there is a selection on the mesh, the software automatically finds the best plane which goes through this point. Now this, I'm happy with this and I'll leave the orientation of this plane as it is now. And I press OK. At any time I can just select this plane and offset and drag it to place it visually in the position where I want it to be. When I'm happy with this, I will use the other tool which is called Trim and this will do my the slicing for me. I'll just select my auto surface and then with the control I select the plane. Now you can just select my Trim tool. The software is initialized and it splits the two objects I will just hide the mesh because I don't need it at the moment. I can rotate it on a screen and then I can pick the parts which I want to be removed. This part and this. This happens just by clicking on the area which needs to be removed. As you can see the software automatically shows us that this is a solid body now. And I'm happy with this and I will press OK. The software created my new solid body and to identify this you can see that it gives an indication here. Let's do another example here. I will continue and create another plane, but this part I will take a look at the orientation of the, in the coordinate system and probably in this case I will need to make this parallel to my absolute axis. I will put it on top view. And it's not properly aligned, but it's good enough for the purposes of the demonstration. I can just take and slide the, the plane that it goes through the middle of my object. And when I'm happy, again, I'll press OK. Using the control, I will just select the plane here or in the object tree. Then with control, we'll select my already trimmed surface and we'll select trim. The software initializes. And again, we'll just repeat the same um, procedure which we did um, earlier. I will just click in the areas which I need to be removed. I don't need this part, so now I just have a half of the object. When I'm happy, I will just press OK. As you can see, now we got the half of the object which can be exported into the step and I just file format and you can pass it through your milling software. For example, what else we can do, I can just right click in my last trim surface and then I can select edit. 
the software initializes and because it's parametric I can go back and modify uh, my trimming operation and this now I will just select the other half the way I will do this I will just reset the trim and then in this case I'll just pick this part to be removed and this as you can see now I got the other half press OK and I'm ready I hope this is useful for your project. Thank you for watching.